Their daughter's photos are fading, but memories of her are not. this bridge it was incredibly dangerous right between the two front lines and then a shot rang out Nineteen years later, her pain has barely ebbed. I keep trying to make sense of it, she says. They were innocent in the corrosive ethnic hatred that erupted in Bosnia following the breakup of the former Yugoslavia. In death, they became known as Romeo and Juliet. I don't care, I don't know who the killer is, she says. Even if they gave him a hundred years in jail, even killed him, what difference would it make? I kept thinking, what would I do if the killer came to my door, her mother says. My husband wouldn't look at him. I always thought I could strangle him, but after all this time, I wouldn't care. What would it mean now? Unable to visit as much as she'd like, but still good friends with the in-laws she almost had. Across the ethnic divide, both families united in blaming their political leaders. I'm sorry the war happened, she says. It needn't have been. So many people died in vain. May war not happen again, he says. His wife adding, so no mother need cry over her baby again. Nineteen years after their death, Admira and Boschko still a beacon for a better future. Nick Robertson, CNN, Sarajevo, Bosnia-Herzegovina.